A few weeks ago, I posted this rant video where I talked about how some of these large Instagram accounts are stealing your content only to sell you stuff and give you nothing back. Within 24 hours, a lot of you started sharing this video on your Instagram stories and asking me how you can shut them down. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do that. Coming up. Hey 74 crew, welcome back. If you don't know me, my name's Kelsey. I'm a 747 pilot. My channel 74 Gear is all about aviation. Today I'm right outside of Yokota Air Base. I'm doing some flights for the military later on today. First, I should tell you that this repost account situation doesn't only apply to pilots in aviation. You do have it where you have repost accounts that are objectifying cabin crew members, if you ask my opinion, but also you'll see as an example in the car niche where people are stealing content and doing the exact same thing that we have in aviation. So this is something that's really all over Instagram. Now in that initial rant video, I talked about how this is costing Instagram lots of money and how I'd happily explain to Zuckerberg in 60 seconds, but I guess he doesn't subscribe to my channel because he hasn't sent me a DM yet. Many of you that messaged me said that you felt you were too small to be heard, and rightly so. You're going against some accounts that have six, seven, eight hundred thousand followers, where if you leave a comment, they're just simply going to delete it, which is what happened after I posted the video. Some of you that felt the most upset and irritated were plane spotters, and rightfully so. Many of you have invested a lot of money into your camera equipment and spend a lot of time sitting out there to get just the right picture. And sometimes it's in inclement weather and sometimes you're just sitting out there for hours in the sun waiting to get that one right photo. And then once you get it, it's just quickly stolen by one of these repost accounts, often without your approval. Then once they have that photo, they're essentially making money off of your hard work and they are literally doing nothing. In every other niche, I'm sure it's exactly the same way where you have people who are putting in a lot of hard work and then a large account is just stealing that content. Remember, if you post a good photo or a good video and people really like it, they're going to share it and they're going to share it to your account, which means your account is going to grow. But if it's on a large repost account, people will share it from the large repost account and the repost account will grow, and you will basically get nothing out of it. See, that's kind of the trap. You get validated by this big account using your photo, and you think, oh, this is so great, this is gonna help me. But like I showed you in that last video, just the fact that a repost account takes your content usually doesn't do much for you at all. What you need to realize is that they take your content because they have to have it, because they don't generate any of their own content. So they have to have your content you're in control. By taking away their ability to use your content, it's kind of like taking away oxygen from a fire. If you take it away, they can't grow and they will quickly die out. You're seeing it on a lot of different platforms. For example, on my TikTok right now, I've been seeing not my videos stolen and used, but a lot of other guys are stealing and using other people's TikTok videos or other videos and posting them on TikTok, which is basically what happened when Instagram originally started. I will tell you from personal experience, when I've turned on my phone after a long flight, and I've seen 99 plus subscribers on my Instagram account. It's a great feeling. But again, that's gonna come from you posting content and great content and people sharing your content and then Instagram pushing it out to a bunch of people. If you let large repost accounts use your content, they're gonna get the credit and they're gonna grow because they have a broader reach, they're gonna get more likes and comments and then Instagram is gonna push that photo, not your photo and people will generally not end up seeing your picture. And because these repost accounts are taking two or three of the best photos or videos that are out there and pumping them out every day, Instagram is helping them grow their account, which then these repost accounts turn around and try to sell you stuff or charge you if you want to get a shout out from them. The same account which got big by stealing your content. In high school terms, it's basically like a bully is sitting next to you in class, he cheats off of your exam, and then once he has the answers from your exam, he runs out and sells it to a bunch of other people. Now, I'm not condoning this, but if hypothetically he were to give you $300 for all the answers to the exam, which you spent a lot of time and a lot of hard work studying for, and then they were to go out and sell that at $100 a piece to 10 people and make $1,000, that would be a business. But stealing your stuff and then making money off of it and giving you nothing, that's not a business. That's called theft. I'm starting a hashtag, hashtag shut him down. A lot of people say I look like The Rock. He shaves his head, I shave my head. He's got golden brown skin, I've got skin. His arms are the size of my legs, my arms are the size of his forearms. I mean, the list goes on and on. 
Now, if I took his stuff and started selling it online, I would get sued. And now The Rock has a lot of lawyers and a lot of people like that that can stand up for him. And a lot of you that are smaller on Instagram feel like you can't stand up against a lot of these big Instagram accounts because you're not The Rock, but you're wrong. There are thousands of you that are posting photos and videos every day in whatever niche you are. There are thousands of you. Usually there's only gonna be five or 10 repost accounts. If you wanna shut them down, I'm going to explain to you exactly how to do it. You can do it while you're waiting for the next plane to come in. You can do it while you're loading your 747. It only takes a couple minutes a week and you can shut these accounts down. To identify these repost scam accounts, you have to look through each picture and see if it says credit to or credit at in a lot of the different photos. Sometimes these accounts have asked for permission, sometimes they haven't. And like I talked about in my original rant video, this doesn't apply typically to brand accounts or an airline account where people are sharing their content and that airline may be reaching out to them and saying, that's a great picture of our plane, do you mind if we share it? Because it is their brand. That's not the same thing. First, I'm gonna talk about what everybody can do, whether your photos are getting stolen or not. If this is something that irritates you, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you can do. First, make a list and put it on a memo pad or a notepad somewhere on your phone of all the big repost accounts that you have found. As you find each of these accounts, if you're following them, unfollow them. Don't leave a comment or anything on their posts. The thing is, is that after that rant video, a lot of you were going onto some of these large Instagram accounts and you were leaving comments saying, why are you stealing our photos without our permission? First, your comment is gonna get deleted because they have nothing to say. I stole the photo and I did it, so sucks for you. They have nothing else that they can say. So instead of doing that, they just delete your comment. And then if you're like me, they're gonna block you. The other thing is by leaving a comment, whether it's nasty or not, Instagram sees that as engagement on that post. So in essence, you are helping them by leaving a negative comment, you are helping that account. So don't leave any comments on their account. After you've made the list, you draft up a generic direct message. Now that message will say something like, hey, I used to follow this account too, but you should watch this video and this video. And then put a link to my original rant video and this video here. The thing is, is a lot of people, like a lot of you, didn't really know this was happening. After I posted the original video, you'd be surprised. I had some accounts that had two, three, four hundred thousand followers that have the blue check mark that are Instagram influencers that wrote me messages saying, I had no idea this was going on. Thanks so much for bringing this to my attention. So a lot of these people who have 100, 200, 300 don't really know that this is going on. So don't show up and start blasting them on the DMs. Just educate them. If after that, they wanna follow that account, then that's their choice. You don't have to bully them out of that. Educate them and let them know what's going on. Since you have that direct message saved on your memo somewhere with the links to both these videos, all you have to do is copy that entire thing and then go and leave that direct message on every person who's left a comment and every person whose video is being shared. They may not even be aware that their video or their picture is being shared. There's a lot of times that I've gotten direct messages from people saying, hey, did you see this video? And I go, no. And I didn't even know that that people had taken my video. And sometimes they haven't even tagged me in the video. They've just taken it and said, credit to other person who's not me. Imagine if you'd left a comment on one of these scam repost accounts, and then all of a sudden you get 20 direct messages from different people saying, hey, you may want to check out these videos. You're probably going to watch the videos. And again, it's their choice if they want to follow them or unfollow them. Don't bully them into unfollowing them, but just educate them, leave it to them. So that's something regardless of who you are, whether your photos are being stolen or not, that you can do. This next part is only applicable to people who are having their photos that are stolen. If you aren't having your photos that are stolen because your Instagram account is private, go to this time in the video. If your photos are being stolen, it only takes two or three minutes to actually get it removed. It's actually a lot simpler than I thought. First, if they send you a direct message or leave you a comment asking if they can repost your content, tell them no. Like I said in the analogy of the bully sitting next to you in high school just copying off your exams, if you want to sell it to them and they wanna pay you $100 or $200 or $300 or whatever you think it's worth, then absolutely give it to them. They're not gonna do that, but if you wanna sell it, then at least get something out of them taking from you. Since that's not gonna be the case and most of them are gonna take it, I'm gonna show you exactly how to report the picture or video. And it really only takes about two to three minutes to report it. It's very simple once I show you how to do it. If many of you start reporting these accounts, what's gonna happen is Instagram's gonna look at the account and they may end up shutting it down but it's gonna take a lot of you reporting these accounts at the same time. The first thing you wanna do is copy the link to the video on your account where it's being stolen from, and then copy the link on their account that the people who are stealing it, copy that link, and you do it by going and hitting these, this spot right here, 
copy link, and then you store that in a memo pad somewhere. So now that you're on their page, what you're gonna do is hit those three little dots right there. A screen is gonna show up that say report. You hit report, then you hit inappropriate, then you hit intellectual property violation. Next, report and help center. Scroll down a little bit until where it says more on reporting copyright violations. Right here, there's a blue link which says this form. Click that. Hit copyright, then continue with copyright. At the very bottom, you'll see one that says, I found content which I believe infringes on my copyright. Then continue with the report, which will take you about one to two minutes to quickly fill out. Since you're reporting this copyright inside the app, it's important that you have those links copied because it's gonna ask you for a link on their page and a link on your page to prove that you posted it before they did and they stole your content. So it's very important that you copy those in the memo before you go in and start doing this reporting. Once you get to the end, you're gonna put your phone number, your email address, and you're gonna hit send. Then you're gonna get an email that looks like this. And then after about 24 to 40 hours, you'll get an email that looks like this, which basically means Instagram agreed with what you said and they took down your content. It's all very fast. I've never been questioned about it. It all happens very quickly. 24 to 40 hours, they take it down. And if you continue to do this, and a lot of you do this, their site's not gonna exist anymore. A lot of people don't know that this is happening. You need to share and educate people that this is what's going on. That's the only way that you're gonna create change, by educating them. So I put it on my Facebook page. Share it on your Facebook page. I post it on my Twitter account with the hashtag shut them down. Retweet my tweet and hashtag shut them down. All of my accounts are linked in the description below. All of them are at 74 gear. It'll be very easy to find it. If you can't find the link, it'll be on my Instagram account right here for the next week. If you really wanna stop these bullies from taking people's stuff and taking your stuff, this is something you can do. Let me be the spearhead, then be the front man for this, and these guys can throw all the hate and shade on me because I really don't care. And to show you just how much I don't care about the mean things that people say to me, I make mean comment videos about the mean things and comments that people leave me on my YouTube account. Don't ever let people hold you down. I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, keep the blue side up.